Hello. Okay, so today we're going to play The Political Machine 2020 again. And if I'm being honest, I, I, I'm i just feeling a little lazy. I wanted to play a game, and it's been a while since I've played this. So we're just going to do this one. Um, this is warning you will lose on the other one, so we'll do painful. Um, I cannot remember what I played on last time. I feel like I played on normal. I don't know if I've ever played on this high of a difficulty. I normally play pretty high. I can't remember the one I normally pick. Because, you know, I don't, well, I guess some of you on this channel might not know. I do a political channel. And on there I do simulations. I use the AI versus AI. So it's been so long since I've been in this part of the game. So last time we did Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. This time we're going to do Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. Which... And last time I made a disclaimer at the beginning that I wasn't going to um, give my personal opinions. And I'm not going to give my personal opinions, but necessarily as in, well, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to vote this way or like something like that, you know? So first I do like to see where they went. Um, they went to, he went to North Dakota or North Carolina, I meant, fuck me. Okay, um, you need to build a base there because he did. Do I really even want to go for Texas? I don't know. He built a base in Texas. I'll build a base in Texas too. Fuck, I should have built a base in Florida. I'm going to visit Florida at least. Go to the next round. This is already kind of looking a little bad. Please, okay. Um, ideology points. I, I like to start off with ideology points. Um, is what I feel like I want to do right now anyways. Which one do we want to do? Does any of these raise both Democratic and Republican support? It looks like abortion rights raises support for independents, Democrats, and Republicans without raising Donald Trump's approval rating. Which is interesting just because it's, like it says, a divisive issue. But, um... Yeah, we're not doing that because that is bad for, um, it raises his approval rating. Oh, and like I said last time when I played this, I'm not going to, um, do something on the ideology thing because I would personally support it. I'm, you know, I'm doing this to win. Um, not necessarily what I would do as president, which let me know if you guys want to see like me run, because I do have a custom Canada on here of me. Let me know if you guys want to see what I would do running as president and, like, see if I could win or not. That might be a little interesting. I don't know. Um, anyways, he built a base in Ohio. And for some reason, I Ohio is more likely than Georgia on here. So we'll do that. Um, I think I'm going to go for Georgia instead of Florida, actually. Which is going to use the rest of our points. Let's get there before he does. Um, we're going to get some more ideology points. Because those are really going to help. Um, this does have independent party. Like an independent like person would support it. So we're going to do social justice this time. And then does either of these. And this is going to raise an independent and democrat. So we will do reducing wealth and equality next. Oh, what's this one? We can even do it. This one actually isn't bad, it only raises this by 1%, but I'm not going to do it yet. But that might be something for later. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is crazy and unrealistic, but it happens in this game early on like this. And I'm sure there will be a point to where you're going to look at it and be like, oh yeah, he's definitely going to lose. So, just wait, you'll see. <laughs> um, where do I want to build next? Maybe Florida? Make him fight for it a little bit. Um, okay, we can actually get ideology points from a town hall now. Which means he's going to probably throw his support behind something. Okay, he built a base in Rhode Island. Um, in real life, that wouldn't be possible for us to lose. But in this game, it is. So I'm going to go to Rhode Island. And build a base there. 
skip to the next turn. He's going to build a base in Pennsylvania, Illinois, and visit New York. Okay. Um, visit Nebraska. I'm going to build a base in Pennsylvania. I'm going to build a base in Illinois. Well, actually, maybe we'll just visit some places and get our enthusiasm up. That sounds like a better idea. Visit Minnesota, visit Wisconsin, um, visit Virginia. Gonna get some places like we know we can win out of the way. Now this is something I say on my political channel a lot. Democrats never target Louisiana, and they normally get about 40% of the vote there, about. So I like to target Louisiana because I feel like if the Democrat actually targeted it, I'm not saying they would win, but they would do a lot better. And it would make the Republicans actually have to fight for it a little bit more, which is going to make the other states a little easier to win. If you catch my drift, um, you may or you may not. If you know, you know. Can we get there before him? Oh, we did, but we didn't really want it. Oh, he wasn't going there anyways. Okay. Um, can we do something with the six? Oh, okay, we can. Um, those are all Democratic supports. That's going to raise his... Um, I feel like the environment one might be, yeah, the environment one's a little bit better here in terms of gameplay. Okay, yeah, I thought that if we went down this tree, we might have some that raises it for all three, but not raises his. So that'll be nice for later. Um, it's interesting, I mean, I'm getting ahead of myself, but it's interesting that this is the second hardest setting of the game. And we are winning so much. Uh, we're going to do some ideology points again. And then go here and get some more ideology points. And then we are going to throw our support behind addressing climate change. Now, I will say that, you know, this is turning bluer and bluer. Yeah, Alabama being blue is unrealistic and crazy. But he is going to throw his support behind things as we progress here. And we're getting pretty close to the end of our line that we can throw our support behind and it help us and not hurt us. Um, where do we want to build a base at next? Actually, maybe we won't build a base. Maybe we'll just visit some places. I do want to ensure that we win some of these. I mean, IRL, I don't know that Kamala would win Ohio or even have a shot at Ohio against Donald Trump, really. But, um, I mean, that's my personal opinion. Mm. Okay, I think we're going to do a rally in Ohio. Um, let's see what we got here. Blue collar jobs. Now I know that's, I don't, is that something that Donald support or Donald Trump like campaigned for in Ohio? I'm not sure. Um, in the game though, that's normally something that people don't really typically already have campaigned for. So we're going to be the only one that has, oh, no, he has. Well, that's going to actually hurt us later on then because he has a higher approval on that issue than us and us campaigning for it raised the importance of that issue. So that's going to hurt us later on, actually. But for now, we're in the lead in Ohio. Make me one of your beautiful people, plus three national enthusiasm. Let's go ahead and focus on Texas, because, I mean, honestly, in my opinion, I feel like Kamala would have a better chance at Texas and Ohio, and I am not saying that she would win Texas. But I'm saying between those two, you know. If you know, you know. Funding NASA. Interesting. Uh, um, maybe visit some places now? Yeah, I didn't really need to build a base in Illinois. I'm glad I never did that. Okay, I never visited Arizona. I need to do that, otherwise we are going to lose Arizona. Um...
Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more ideology points and then go to Alabama and get some more ideology points. Um, is there really anything left for us though? There's education. Um, student loan reform. Um, that's really the only one left that I'm interested in. So we need six, currently we need six ideology points. Um, where did he go? He went to Virginia. I really want to keep Virginia. Um, where am I? I'm in Alabama. Um, that's because that's where the town hall was for us to get ideology points. I'm not targeting Alabama, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, he did a news thing in Virginia, I seen, and I wanted to just ensure that we kept that. Let's go back to Texas. Um, some of these places, as you can see, oh, some of these places that we have high enthusiasm, he doesn't really have any. So that's why it is what it is. Um, let's just do West Virginia for the meme. The meme of a, um, Al Gore. Who do we want as our VP? Um, decisions like VP picks and stuff on here, I think would be really interesting as to, um, like personal things. What's his, oh, um, what's her scores on things? Okay. Let's do Trisha Paytas as our running mate. I don't think the VP pick really matters. This is why I just picked Trisha, because it's like, you know, I like Trisha. We'll pick Trisha. We're gonna do Saving the Bees. Hopefully he hasn't campaigned for that already. Um, nope, no one has. We have now though. And we're gonna do Saving the Bees again. Hopefully that locks down Georgia for us. Visit Mississippi, get that question mark. Um, intimidated, I think that lowers their enthusiasm. Let's get more cash. How long have I been reporting now? Oh, okay. Um, oh, I'm gonna do a lot better on time than we did last time, I think. I live in Indiana and I really want to win Indiana, so we're going to go and build a town hall in Indiana. And we are going to go place an ad in Texas for funding NASA. Okay, we need a couple more points for the last ideology tree thing that we're going to do. So we're going to do that one more time. And we need still nine more points. So we're going to endorse that. What, what's this last one? Okay, not something we're doing. Okay, um, that that would be really interesting if we ended up flipping Alabama. I don't think we are because I'm not going to aim to but that would be interesting. Let's go to Illinois. Minnesota, New Hampshire, or not New Hampshire, that's Vermont. Oh wait, no, that's New Hampshire, okay. I seen New Hampshire and I thought it was New Hampshire, but then I looked down at Vermont here and I thought this little tail thing was pointing down to Vermont and I got so confused. I was like, well, maybe I just forgot what Vermont looked like, but no, I didn't, okay. Anyways. Uh, I should have visited Arizona. I don't think I visited it yet still. Oh, but I still have way higher enthusiasm than him there. Okay. Oh, well, speak of the devil. Now he's visited Arizona. Okay. Well, we are going to visit Arizona then. We are going to build a base there. We are going to go to Wisconsin and build a base. And, ow, I just hit my knee on the table. Okay. Um, Illinois still seems fine for now. Don't got to worry about it. Um, Minnesota, um, it's not too bad. 
I'm going to start out in Texas because I do want to do a rally there next time. Um, funding NASA. We really want to drive this up as an important issue. Oh, he's put that he supports it too. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go back to Indiana. Okay, we have a chance of losing now. See what I mean, what I said earlier. I know some people's probably like screaming at their screens and saying I should have done this, I should have done that, and that's why we are where we are. But um, let's get some operatives. Okay, some cheerleaders. We will put these in places that we don't already have town halls. Um, I want to keep up in Louisiana. So we're going to put a cheerleader in Louisiana. Because um, honestly, it doesn't seem... It seems like he's focused on some other stuff right now. And if we win Indiana, it could offset us losing um, Georgia or something. You know what I mean? A little bit. Like, it would be fine if we lost Georgia as long as we win Louisiana. I know that's quite a bit of a difference in electoral votes. That's just how I feel about it. Um, so, let's see. Where are we? Oh, we're in Delaware. Okay. Um, let's... Do we want to do Indiana? Okay, let's just fucking do Indiana. Um, what's the things right now for Indiana? Second stimulus package. Let's hope he hasn't already put a support behind that in Indiana. Okay. Um, that'll be fine then. And then we will just visit some other places. Tennessee would also be a nice one to win. Okay, importance of hawkish on Russian might and a strong military raised in all states. I don't know what hawkish on Russian might is. I've never seen that in a state. Oh, now we're in danger of lo losing Louisiana and Michigan. Okay, well, what is the top things in Michigan? Auto industry and fixing the roads, both of which neither of us has said we was going to do. So I will do both. That put us in a massive lead in Michigan. Okay, he's fighting for Kentucky and um, Tennessee now a little bit. Okay, let's go to Georgia and do Saving the Bees. Is that really an issue in Georgia that people like are like really behind there like are really into because that seems to always well it is always on georgia on this game and i have never heard that be like an issue that people politicians have went for in georgia i don't know how that would go in real life okay arizona we could possibly lose right now it's just not looking too hot for us you know um we're gonna start buying some stuff here and I'm going to tuck them away in states that we're already going to win. That way, hopefully, he doesn't use fixers on them and get rid of them. And then on the last round, I'll move them back to states that we need to. Where's my other cheerleader? There's one in Louisiana. Fuck, he already got rid of that? Okay, any operatives to lend a hand? Okay, let's send that back to there. What's the other one? Smear Merchant. That's actually perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Send that to there. We're going to visit New Hampshire. I don't know why I still don't like that. Um, uh, what do we want to do? Um... Let's see what's in Arizona. Curbing Russian aggression. Is that a thing that Donald Trump supported in Arizona? Let's see. 
Doesn't look like it's on the list yet, so I can't tell. Um, well, hopefully not, but we threw support behind that, and it looked like it helped us, so. Uh, let's... What states that we can make him fight for a little harder? How about Arkansas? Indiana. We can make him fight for Nevada a little bit. We really need to actually be the one fighting for Nevada, though. Okay. We need to buy a smear merchant. And we need to put this in New York, because I don't see us losing New York. So, so far we have three at the end to help us. Do we want to do Texas and... Oh, we need to fight for Virginia, actually. Um, okay, we have... This is like the last round, kind of. Um, which ones are popular among all? Just stopping the coronavirus? Okay. Well, that was enough to help us in Virginia. Um... Unless something drastically changes, I think we're going to win Louisiana. I could click on the polls button and it kind of basically tells you what you would get in the Electoral College if the game ended right now, but I don't want to do that because we're so close to the end. Um, let's visit New Hampshire one more time. And let's see, is there any other like odd states that were close in the polls, close enough that we could at least make them competitive to where he'll have to shift focus to them? Um, I do want to visit Arkansas, but I'm going to do it last so it doesn't take points away for visiting the town hall state, because that's a town hall state right now. Um, we'll visit Mississippi. And we'll visit South Carolina and Nevada. And we will visit Arkansas. And then... Um, that's going to be it for this round. This is the last round. I have got to remember to buy something this round. I guess I'm going to buy a fixer because I'm going to get rid of something he does. Let's go ahead and let him do all of his things and then we will see what we're going to do. He put something in Indiana. Okay. Well, we are going to see if we can win the Indiana back. Um, it made us more likely to win than lose, I think, basically, in Indiana. Um, let's see if we can't make Texas competitive. I mean, we can, but we're likely to lose it still. Okay, it made us more likely to win in Georgia. Um, Let's see, who does he have where? Let's do a fixer on Florida and see what that does. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting because you have to think of the power dynamic shifts that we got here. Um, we are expected to lose a lot of, basically all of these gray states except for New Hampshire, it's gonna automatically go to us. All the other ones will automatically go red because neither of us really fought for them and that's generally just the way they go, so that's the way they're going to go. Um, we're going to win those. Nevada, we're more likely to win than lose, but we could still lose. Texas is going to probably go to him, but it could go to us. Arkansas, probably him, but could go to us. Mississippi, same. Georgia, probably us, but could go to him. Florida, probably him, could go to us. Indiana really is even. I feel like it's going to go to him still. Is this possible for us to win? I think because we have Louisiana and the Rust Belt and most of the rest of the map looks pretty normal, I think we should be guaranteed to win, right? Well, let's find out. Oh, our national rating, I don't know if you noticed, but it's 50 and 42 for him. Okay, let's see who wins. I'm nervous. Uh, okay, New Hampshire went to him. Um, I don't think that would happen in real life. 
I don't know. It was close to him the first time, but... Um, Florida, okay. Okay, we at least got Georgia. I think with Georgia and Louisiana and the Rust Belt, I think we're going to do this. Okay, that's really sad that I lost my home state, but... Um, I'm really just glad that we at least flipped Louisiana. Like, that would be really history-worthy for this time period for us to have flipped Louisiana. That's really historic. And for it to be that competitive in states like Texas, it really would be. Um, I'm obviously not saying that this is how the map is going to look or how it's even, like, you know, whatever. But, okay, we got Nevada. That's good. Okay. That is the most any candidate has won since 2012. So, I'm happy about that. Let's look at the exit polls. It looks like we got, wow, 12 million more votes than him. And a really, at the end of the day, it was kind of close. Like, let's look at this. Like, how close was it? How close was Donald Trump to beating Kamala in this? Well, let's look at the Rust Belt. That's where I suspect it could be close. Oh, actually, none of these are... I mean, Illinois is closer than most of the Rust Belt in this, which is interesting. Pennsylvania is within nine points. Wow. Um... He flipped New Hampshire, though, barely, but he did flip it. That is noteworthy. Virginia was reasonably close. It wasn't, like, too crazy. It was 7%. That's, I guess that's not close, but you know what I mean. Georgia within 3%. That's an increase for Democrats if that was to happen. Obviously, I'm not saying it will, but I'm just saying it would be. 5% would be a considerable increase for De Republicans in Florida. Wow, Democrats winning Louisiana by 9%. That's crazy. Barely losing Arkansas. Barely losing Mississippi. Within 11% in Alabama. This is crazy. Uh, oh, Oklahoma is not even that big of a margin compared to normal. I mean, yeah, 19%, but it's normally way higher than that in Oklahoma. 5% in Texas. That's actually like almost exactly what it was in 2016. Um, Iowa, okay, okay. I don't even know if you'll be able to read the numbers on this. Um, Nebraska, 5% margin. Sometimes Nebraska on this game, by the way, in case you're here from my political channel, Nebraska in these maps on this game, in AI or in the real game like this, it will sometimes flip Democratic, and it's easier than a state like Kansas to flip because of the second district. This game doesn't, and the same with Maine. There is no districts, so they're both easy to flip. Whereas, you know, Republicans at large in real life isn't really that likely to win Maine at all. Or the first district, I mean, especially, I guess. But, um, the, well, I guess 2016 at large, Maine was pretty close. Anyways, the, Nebraska at large obviously isn't going to be won by Democrats anytime soon, but same goes there. Um... Colorado is, okay, that's pretty big margin. Wow, New Mexico is like a, what is that, 41% margin? That's crazy. Arizona, a 9% margin. That's really good for Democrats. Washington, out of the ballpark. Oregon, Nevada, really close within a percentage point. Um, California, that's like 27%, I think. Hawaii's gigantic margin. Alaska is like a 13% margin. Um, what is with Rhode Island since he... Oh, that's funny. He targeted Rhode Island kind of for a brief second and then still lost in a landslide there. So yeah, um, we won very handedly in this. Uh, it's interesting that the game was on such a high difficulty and it still was relatively easy. I know there was points in the game where I thought we was going to do a lot better than this, but we did win by a pretty comfortable margin, and um, I'm fairly happy with this, and about 30 minutes long too, so go us. Um, is there anything else interesting that some of you might 
want to see. It says Harris has won the day in the presidency with a strong showing in both popular vote and the Electoral College, one of the deciding factor in Harrison's victory. Harris's victory, not Harrison. Did I say that earlier? I meant Harris's victory was... It says his use. Interesting. This game doesn't have gender. Like, for her, I guess, maybe? Interesting. Was her use of ideological points, which... It says he, again, used more extensively than Trump. Harris spent less money than Trump, which just goes to show you don't have to buy your victory. I wonder if they just have Kamala set up wrong when they made her in the game. And if she is set up as a he, or if like all women in this game it says he still. Let's look at the exit polls. What did they support us more on? They supported him more on the coronavirus, which is interesting. Um, border protection, they supported him more on. Addressing climate change, they supported us more on. Filing Supreme Court vacancy, they supported him more on. Oh, filling Supreme Court vacancy, yeah, okay. Um, election integrity, um, wait, what? Election integrity. I had to pause for a moment at that. For some reason, I was still thinking about the Supreme Court, and it just threw me. Okay, abortion rights, that was more of a support for him. Um, but he didn't really campaign for it, so I don't know. Um, student loan reform, more for us. America first, more for him. Investigating Hunter Biden and a landslide for him. But you have to think, this game doesn't take a thing, for example, investigating Hunter Biden. It doesn't take the opposite, like antithesis of that, and say that, okay, Kamala Harris doesn't want to do that, and so people support that notion. Like, in this game, that would be two separate issues. You know what I mean? So, like, the people that do want to investigate Hunter Biden doesn't support um, Kamala on that issue because she has never said anything on that issue in this game because, like I said, it considers the antithesis, antithesis of that to be a separate issue. So this game handles things like that a little differently. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, that is this game. I hope that you enjoyed playing it with me. And, um, I will probably, I decided I don't know if I'll be playing City Skylines anymore in here because I really just enjoy playing the game and I don't want to have to have the pressure of it to be in videos. So, um, SimCity 4 is still a thing that could happen on here. Um, maybe Fortnite. Of course my mukbangs like always. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have an excellent week.